Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Sal speaking, welcome, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on yoga. Recently I've been reading a book, I started reading this book about yoga because I really needed to relax. Like, we all need to relax, don't we? You know, today's too hectic, traffic jam, people screaming, especially here, people scream all the time and it's getting so hard you know especially now i'm doing so many things i'm studying piano i'm just studying singing it is very demanding very hard very cool i feel happy when it comes to these things and i'm also facing the problems of life you know the daily problems of life and it can be tough sometimes and so all i need is to relax just sit down relax and find peace, find, you know, meditation, whatever you call it, you know, find something that makes me feel good. So, why did I look into yoga? First of all, I had this book in my bookshelves and I didn't know anything about it. Well, I didn't remember I had it because it's been a while. I bought it like many, many years ago. And now, finally, I got to open this book and I started reading from this book. Found lots of hilarious things in this book. I've started singing from zero. And it's been really challenging, really amazing. At the same time, I had to learn things from zero. Um, the old way I used to sing, no, not anymore. You know, I'm just trying to change. I'm trying to improve. There are so many things I need to do. And one of my problems right now is to, uh, you know, to really learn how to breathe properly. As I will learn how to breathe properly, I'm sure that my skills will improve dramatically. I'm still improving, I'm doing lots of exercises every day. One of these exercises is to breathe, you know, it's freaking hard. First of all, I practiced it as I was laying on the bed and then my teacher wants me to practice it as I stand. So, it's been crazy. And she, she said, like, you either need to smoke something or... And she was joking, of course. And she said, like, you need to do something to get more relaxed. So, I thought about yoga and I thought about, like, starting again to to exercise, to do daily exercise, and this is making a little bit of a difference, although exercising can be challenging when it comes to protect your voice, and maybe I'll make a video about this another day, because it's tough for your singer, it's freaking tough. So when it comes to yogi, I mean, when it comes to yoga, <laughs> when it comes to yogi, I think about, so when it comes to yoga, I think about the yogi bear, you know, yoga, yogi, it's somewhat the same thing. Uh, several months ago I was in uh, Yellowstone Park for the first time and I was looking for the yogi bear, I didn't find it, it was too cold, maybe, I don't know, but it was great. Let's face it, when I think about yoga, I think about, we have here in Italy, we have a yoga fruit juice, which is amazing. Because I love pear juice and it's really hard to be found. Even in UK, you can't really find pear juice, can you? Well, you can find, I remember many, many years ago, 10 years, 11 years ago, I used to live in UK and I used to get um, pear juice mixed with apple juice or something, but I've never found the pear juice. Why don't you like pear juice, guys? I don't know. If you want pear juice, let me know, I'll send you one. So yeah, pear juice is fantastic, why don't you drink it? You know, nobody seems to like it very much. So I'm reading this book and I'm, and I'm flipping through the pages here. I'm just, you know, having some fun reading this book and I'm really excited. I have lots of, you know, great uh, hopes. Uh, this is a book translated in Italian, written by this guy or girl, I don't know. Uh, this one done, this one done, I don't know. It's called Yoga in 10 Lessons. And so it kind of explains, well, I barely started the book, so I can't tell you everything, but you know, the way it is organized, it's very badly organized. It really doesn't, doesn't explain many things, you know, it's kind of confusing like to follow up on things. But anyways, let me try to translate some things here for you. So here it goes, and it's the first page, you know, the first page should be a good page, which should attract people to read the book more. But this page kind of makes me feel I want to escape, I want to go away, I don't know, I want to run away or something. But here it says, okay, remember the, the yogis, so the guys who practice yoga, you know, the good ones, you know, the masters, the teachers, the great ones, you know, from, you know, the eastern part of the world, have demonstrated to scientists, so they have demonstrated somehow to scientists, their absolute dominion on physical forces 
and this really makes me think a lot. So they are like basically superheroes like Superman, Batman, Spider-Man and you name it. They somehow have the capability to overcome physical desires. For example, uh, there are some of them, I don't know about this, if you know more about this please I want to know more about this really. I don't uh, quite believe in this book but anyways. It says some of them have lived without food for many days, for several days. Um, I don't know much about this. I think uh, they either were really fat yogi, yoga, whatever you call it, and they must have lost a lot of weight. Maybe they had a person, a well-trusted one, who brought them food at night when nobody was there to see what the heck they were doing. Maybe not, might be right, might be wrong. You judge and you tell me, you tell me what you think about this because this is freaking confusing. So also some of them have the this amazing skills that they can stop the heart's beat. So, so you know how the heart goes, like... So they start working for garage band and all these programs, music programs and they start to, to make their own beats, you know, with their hearts. So they basically recorded their hearts as they were like, you know, alive and then they would stop. So their hearts would be sound like this more than anything else. Like... Yo, my name is Joe. The people call me Joe, but my name is Joe. Anyways, <laughs> well, and so the best beatboxer in the world is a yoga guy, you know. This is really interesting guys, check it out. And also, they have the ability to stop breathing. That's fantastic, you know. I, you know, some, well, my breath uh, is taken away from fantastic things such as, you know, great views. Whenever I am fully immersed in nature, you know, I, my breath is taken away. You know, some women have taken my breath away for sure and I want my breath back because I need to breathe. <sighs> I'm sure they must have gotten bored even as they were buried because they couldn't see anything, they couldn't do anything, but I'm sure the, the guy would be like still going with this beatboxing somehow. Well, I think they do it in the winter time. This way they can get refrigerated somehow. And so when somebody's gonna dig, you know, they're gonna take them out from the from the soil and they're gonna be still sleeping, you know. And so what do they do? I'm telling you, they wait for the good season or they wait for, you know, for noon. When the sun is high, it's getting hotter and they need to defrost the body. And once they're defrosted, the first thing they do... Thank you! No, I didn't want to say the bad word. Some of them have overcome physical pains, somehow, you know. And you know, I, I, they're fantastic, you know. Some of them even went through an operation, a surgery without any drugs, without anything. So they were like so strong that they could, you know, stand pain so much, so well that they didn't need anything. And so the clinic thanked them because they didn't spend money on drugs. Some of them have proven their strength. They have an amazing physical endurance. In fact, you didn't know that, but most of them are runners. The best runners in the world are from the yoga program, you know. They're all yogi. They run around. They're like <laughs> searching for boo-boo. And so as they run their marathon, they always think about boo-boo and where boo-boo could be. When they reach the very end of the marathon and they find boo-boo, they're happy, you know, and they don't think about the pain anymore and they will soon be fainting dead in a few minutes because I mean come on let's be honest to endure to have a physical endurance you need to work and train hard on this I used to be a runner and I'm kind of getting back on, into running although I'm not running in the same way I used to run before in the past but you know to have physical endurance yes I'll give you that 
The mind is important. The mind enables you to control your body. And so I agree with that. You can suffer things if your mind is prepared. And so if you have decided with your mind, it's not so easy to be mental ready to, in order to face such you know, marathons of life. It can be a real marathon, but even the marathons of life, you need to be ready for it. I remember when I used to be a runner, I ran for three hours without stopping, without drinking water. And please don't do that because that's not healthy at all. But still, I used to do this and it was fantastic, I, you know, I felt good. It wasn't easy and I didn't do it from, I didn't say, okay, today I started studying yoga, I've been studying yoga for a year and so now I can suffer the pains of the world and I'll be a superman, a superhero or a Batman, Robin, whatever you are, you know, and go out and run and pretend that you can run a marathon, that's impossible, that's totally impossible. You need to have the strength, the muscle strength, the mental strength and you need to be trained. Your heart needs to be trained. It's not necessary to do breathing exercises to train your heart and then you can, well, if you can do it, prove it to me, you know, I'll, you know, I'll give you a book. You can start this book and after three months, you, yeah, let's go to New York and let's run the, mar the New York Marathon. I'll come with you. And uh, also to my patients, if you want to support me for this, I'll run the New York Marathon. I promise you I'll do it. So if you, if we will reach a certain amount of money, which has to be, you know, consistently good, because I need to buy the ticket to go to New York, I promise you, I will sign in the, for the New York Marathon. You know, if this guy proves me wrong. There's no, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. I'll do it. But before that, I need to get back on shape. You know, otherwise, I'll be walking the New York Marathon and, you know, appreciating and enjoying the beautiful city of New York. Some of them have demonstrated to have the ability to resist to the elements, you know. So if... I would invite them here, you know, and I would ask them gently to teach me how to do this, the same thing. I want to go to Alaska, it's been one of my dreams, you know, and one day I'm probably going there and it's going to be cold. It's going to be freaking cold, unless I go there during the summertime, which is probably what I'll do. But, you know, here it gets freaking hot in the summertime. I sweat, I hate sweating. Please, be my guest. Tell me, tell me your secrets. You know, ask me your questions. Now, let's go back to the start. You know, it's the uh, Coldplay song. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I feel like singing all the time and the lyrics from the song stick into my mind. For them, there's no space. There's no time. They're like goddess and gods, you know, no offense to the believers. I am a believer myself too, but they're like gods and goddess. And they can, you know, there's no space. There's no time for them. There's no limits, you know, it's like sector, no limits. But it's, this is crazy, you know, how can you do that? And they have special powers. I told you they were superheroes, I told you before, I put that before, almost at the very beginning of this video. They are, they have amazing powers, they're superheroes, they can predict the future, they have powers, they have clairvoyance powers, they have telepathy, they can speak through them, you know, they can talk to them, you know, they don't need to speak, they can talk with their minds to the other guys and they understand each other, it's fantastic. Some of them, they have an amazing resistance, they can even walk on fire. They can walk on fire! They can walk on fire! They're walking on fire! They're walking on fire! Sorry, but I couldn't help it. You know, the only thing I can do is sing. I can't, that's, what can I do about it? You know, that's, that's it. I can't do much about it. I'm sorry, you know, I just don't get it. I just don't. They would have been, these people would have been very useful with these special powers, these yoga superheroes. They're fantastic. You know, I think they should be all firemen. You know, they should be in rescue teams. They would be fantastic. They can resist everything. They can endure pains. They can suffer whatever. You know, they're fantastic. They're, they're just amazing. You have no idea how they are. And so I'm reading this book and don't make me wrong. I found good things. I found good techniques, good breathing techniques. You know, although the book doesn't explain itself very well, I also must say that the translator of this book was crap. You know, I mean, the, the work he has done about when he translated this book is really bad. Bad work, not very good knowledge of, of English because I can tell from the translation there are so many you know, mistakes and things that are not good. But this is a very old book. I think I was 12 years old when I bought it. Now I am 32, so it's been 20 years. 
So 20 years, wow, it feels even crazy to talk about this in, in this way. But anyways, this is the reality, this is, this is the truth, you know. There's some good breathing, you know, patterns here. And I think it would be best to have a yogi, not a bear, <laughs> to, to have a yogi, a real one, a good one, not a crazy one, to show you how to do it. I think it would be preferable to have a teacher you know, somebody who knows about this specific discipline and they can surely teach you how to do your exercises. I'm sure most of these exercises must be beneficial to your body, mind and spirit and soul, whatever you call it. Right now, these are my thoughts on yoga. I don't quite understand it. It's kind of confusing and, you know, when, I, when you read a book that is not well made, is gonna build up on your confusion. Well guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you feel sad, you better call some. Bye-bye.